Hi Gemini, this is Marisha, you must challenge the Leuke. Let's see, what is this equation as of now and what you need to hear from me? Gemini is out there, Sun, Moon, or Rising, Venus. What you need to hear from me right now? Gemini is out there. What you need to hear from me right now? Your first card is the King of Cups. You're very much emotionally invested into something, okay, a situation in your life which is stressing you out. You want things to be resolved, but yet um, it's, it's, it's like stressing you out. If you look at this card, you're praying for something to be resolved, okay? But there are three swords hanging over your head. You're praying, but then it is stressing you out. You're very overwhelmed with this whole situation. Okay? Some of you might be dealing with a strong Librin or probably a Scorpion. What else, please? Gemini is out there. What else? Wow. Your next card is this one. Three of Wands. You want something to return. Okay? You're very much obsessed about this whole thing. It could be another person. Yes. Um, right now, things are pretty much bleak. Okay? But you are hoping for some kind of a transition to happen. A transformation within your current situation. Because... You are unable to cut yourself from this uh, connection. Even if this person, if this is a, a situation, a love situation of, um, yeah. If you're not together, they are still in your energy circle. You still keep thinking about them. Even if they are not with you, you still keep thinking about them. You are not able to separate yourself from their aura or, or their energy. Okay? They are still, um, their energy is still clinging on to you. Or you are still clinging on to them. Okay? Energetically. You keep thinking about them. That is why I got the King of Cups as a first card along with the Four of Swords. You keep thinking about them. You are very overwhelmed about uh, wanting to resolve things. That is why you're stressed out. Because there is this obsessive, I don't know whether it's toxic, but there is this obsessive energy about wanting them back. All right? Because you are waiting. Uh, if you look at this card, the merchant is waiting for the ships to return. In your case, you're waiting for something to return or a person to return back. All right? Because the dead card speaks about, you know, transitioning, moving to the next level. Okay? Letting go of the current situation and, you know, you don't want to be in this current situation anymore. You want things to be right again. Things to go back to where it was once upon a time. That is why you're waiting for them to return. You want to be, be uh, you want to be back with them. Okay, I'm going to put this one back. Some of you might be dealing with a Capricorn energy, or probably an Aries energy, or a Scorpion energy. All right, you're waiting. You're waiting. All right, moving on. Gemini is out there. What else? Your next card is the Three of Cups. Ooh, la. It seems like there might be another person or a third person involved in your story. Okay? You might be wanting to get back with this person whom you were dealing with, but it seems like they might be involved with another person already. Or they're involved with the multiple people. Just 
the same. Because it's almost like, uh, you know, they're being very generous, just saying, okay, how I see it, I'm just saying, not, not to, you know, squash your dreams. Are they being generous? Okay, what they have, they will just give it to everybody out there. And there is three people in this picture who celebrate it. You know? there, there is like fun and fro uh, frolic. So this person whom you are waiting on, again, three of wands, three, three. Triangle. So whom you're waiting on, this person is very generous with their love, with what they have to offer. So you are the only one. And it doesn't have to be multiple people. They are already involved. Whom you're waiting for is already involved with another person. As a pleasant. Okay? But the only problem is you have the devil's energy. You still want them back. Even after you know they are involved with someone else. That's, that's toxic. That's unhealthy. And yes, I heard it. So yes, there is somebody out there who's, uh, who might feel the story is familiar to them. I might be speaking directly to the Gemini or the cross watcher. You know how it works by now. All right, moving on. Some of you might be dealing with a Cancerian or probably a Taurus. You're just not liking the fact that they are involved with someone else. You want them back to be back with you. You want them to let go of that third person and, you know, get back with you. All right. Some of you might be drinking. Okay. Yes. You're being asked to think logically about this. Think practically about this. You, you have to start thinking a little more maturely when, when the King of Swords is coming through. Yeah? Think a little practical. Is it possible? Do you think they will return back to you when they're already involved with someone else? Are you wasting your time just waiting for someone who is already, you know, moved on with their life? So think practically. That's your job, not my job. Okay? Uh, some of you might be dealing with a Capricorn or an Aquarius. Moving on. Gemini is out there. What else? Your next card is this one. Some of you might be dealing with a king of pentacles, probably an Aries or a Taurus. Okay? You might be waiting for this person. Yes. You want stability with this person. You are manifesting them back into your life. Good Lord. If, you look, if I look at this three of wands, you're waiting for someone. And that someone could be this, three, uh, this king of pentacles. But the only problem is there is many people in between you. Okay? Or a third person in, the bet in between the two of you. I get the strong energy they are already involved with someone else. And you are still waiting. That is why we got the devil. Speaking about the toxicity. About the way you are thinking. Yes, you are. You are really wanting to have this uh, foundation with them. You want to get married with them or something. Okay? You're manifesting it. Alright, moving on. What is your last card, Gemini? Your last card is this one. Page of Wands. You still feel there is a potential. There is a tiny hope to get back together. To build up this foundation again between, uh, you know, for the two of you. Okay? You can still manifest them back into your life. That is what you're thinking. That is what you're praying for. Because initially we got the four swords. You are praying for something. You are, you know, somehow there is this illusion. 
about, you know, this person returning back to you? How long will you wait for this to happen? Aren't you gambling with your life? My advice is only, or not my advice, the advice which they give for you is only, even this one, is only to start thinking like the King of Swords. King of Swords is somebody intellectual who is very sensible, straightforward, just, who is right, who does the right thing. So it's asking you to do the right thing for you. Because what, what I see for you is like you're wasting your life waiting for someone who is already involved with someone else. In the hopes, you, you are in the hopes, like there is still potential there. They will reach out to you. Okay. And you will be able to build a home together. A life together. You're manifesting that. See, all prayers will not be answered. If that was the case, everybody would stop doing everything and start praying. Right? And so many people will have the same dreams. Same prayers. Okay? So think that way as well. We are not in the ancient times, oh, maybe, uh, People still marry, get married to more than one person, but think sensibly. You're being asked to reflect. Okay, this is your final message. You're being asked to reflect, to seek the answers, because this helmet is shining the lamp in the dark. This is really what you want. You know, somewhere I spoke about illusions. You're still walking in the dark, seeking for answers. The answer is right in front of you, but you are ignoring it for some reason. So this person is asking you to seek the answers. Go within and ask the answers. Actually ask the questions. Only then will you get the answers. Because I feel like you are not willing to ask the questions. Okay. Uh, that's unfortunate. Some of you might be dealing with a Virgo. Look at this whole situation. Okay, the helmet. If I keep the helmet here, the helmet is shining the lamp on the whole spread. It's asking you to look at your life. What is it that you really want out of this? Are you being sensible about this? Look at it from their perspective. Okay? Take a step back. Look at it from another po a person's point of view. And think, is this ever going to happen? If you get the answer for them, it get, uh, for that question, it will get easier for you to figure things out. Alright, that's it for now. This is Marishi, you're much more to look at. Until next time.